Hey everybody, Don Valance here with another two minute tutorial, this one featuring NewTek TriCaster with Advanced Edition. Now in the last tutorial, we talked about setting up the hardware coming into the back of the machine via either an analog video signal or even an SDI signal by going to the little gear and setting up what I want the resolution and format of the physical in on the back of the machine to be. And we can also set up the audio that we wanna have on that input. But we also have an output configuration tab here. Now, depending upon your TriCaster, you'll have different types of outputs. I happen to be on a TriCaster 8000. So this output is actually showing me that I have three SDI outputs, outputs one, two, and three, and I have an HDMI output. But it also shows me network connectors next to them because these four outputs also show up on the network as four mixed NDI outputs as well. So that's why you have both of these symbols. So <clears throat> you have the ability to change what is being sent out, those outputs, and they can be program or program clean. Now, program clean is the program minus any of the downstream keyers. And I could also record specific mix effects buses uh, that I might be using during the show. You could also go in, say, and if this is gonna be for another language, We've taken the graphics off so that we can replace the graphics in the localized language. We could also send out, say, an auxiliary audio output on that secondary output. So now we could put, say, a secondary language on there as well and have two languages coming out of one TriCaster. Now, you've also got display outputs, and those are HDMI and VGA uh, ports and you need to turn those on for them to be active. So even just by plugging in a cable and configuring it here doesn't mean that you'll see it. You need to activate those displays before you'll see them. And display outputs are video only, no audio, but the output for HDMI output is both video and audio. Well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. And if you have any suggestions for other topics you'd like covered, please put them in the comments below. We'll see you again real soon with another two-minute tutorial.